Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. How are you tonight? A little tired. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Hi. The worst days for me are Tuesday and Wednesday. Why is that? A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, but but like um, you have private classes in addition to the ones you already have, or what is it? My schedule for for this uh, for today and tomorrow are seven fifty to five thirty. Full classes. Uh huh. Like all day long, and I imagine that the rest of the week, you only have like yeah, until free. twelve or one p.m. I'm free. I'm free. Till three. In fact, okay. I'm free. Yeah. But okay. Tuesday and Wednesday are the hell in the in the hair. In the hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're hell. <laughs> okay. Hell. Yeah. There's always like that difficult day during the week that we all have. Good evening, guys. Hi, Gio. Veronica, we don't see you. <laughs> Again, Looking I have glam a friend. in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see you Thank here. Thank you. Hi, Marvin. Hello. Melissa, what are you Hello, drinking? Miss. Marvin, Hello. where are, Hello, where are the glasses? Aloe pera? Oh, that's good. I would like some. <laughs> yeah. That's so refreshing. Okay, welcome, Carla. Now, there you are, Veronica. Hi. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, the majority are here. So, let me, hold on. I want to send you something. We're going to begin with that. I told you we were going to reinforce something about uh, gerunds, right? So, it's somewhere here. Give me one second. What are the prepositions, guys? What are some examples of prepositions? On, from, at, mm -hmm. under, on, under, or before, before, next, after, 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 after above, above, right. What else? Mm. On, at. Yeah. Okay. So look at this. You're gonna help me find the preposition that follows the adjective, okay? Maybe some of you have done this, but maybe not, most likely not. So what is the preposition we need here in number one? What are you interested, what's the preposition? At. In. 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 Ding, ding, ding. That's in. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay, do you get excited? Mm -hmm. You get excited. Uh, preposition. That's what I need. I'm gonna give you examples. All right. For. Get excited. For about. To going. About with or for about. from. About. That's the one. Excited about. You always say excited about. Okay. Okay. Memorize it. All right. Well, Number three. Well, holiday. What is your country, country famous? famous? From? The country famous. Famous no. from? For. At. At. For. Ah, for. So you're going to say El Salvador is famous for? For. For. For the beaches, for right? The beaches. Yes. Ah, beaches. Oh, the beaches. beaches. The beaches. Yes. <laughs> okay. What school subjects were you? Well, this is British, so we're gonna leave it out. Bye bye. What school subjects were? It's what, gone. Where your team? Where you? Or I'm gonna replace it because I like it. Hold on. Never mind. So we said famous for, and instead of saying keen, we're gonna say again interested. Okay, because this is American English, not British. So, what subjects were you interested in as a child? Okay, next. What did you get angry with people about? Mm -hmm. With people about. With people about. So, about what? 
do you get angry with people, right? How often are you absent? On in class. class. No, because you're not in class. That's a problem. <laughs> that's a, that's a problem. Ah, you are. How often are you absent from class? Yes, on. exactly. That's the opposite. From class. Because it's like away from, absent from, right? Distant no. from. The preposition is from. Okay, do you get jealous with, with people? With people. No, let's try again. It's not with. Two more shots. About people. One more shot. About. <laughs> Did you get jealous? You can think in Spanish for this one. Four. Four. At, at people. No, it's, okay. Of, of people. Of people. Meaning, of meaning like you're envious. That's what it means. You're jealous oh. of them. Like, oh, look at that guy. He has so much money and I don't. That's like being jealous of someone. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you scared? Uh, the answer is, uh, yeah, the answer is here. Uh -huh. of, always about, of, of. About. Of. Of. Here's the activity. Of. This is a separate topic, but it's something you have to memorize anyway, okay? Because otherwise, you're going to be saying, um, I don't know, let me see. Uh -huh, you you're, guys, you're saying in Spanish, you're saying ausente en clase. <laughs> no, right? Mm -hmm. Ausente de la clase. That's a preposition. So it's important for you to know the right one. But the topic here, that's not the focus of this activity. The main idea <laughs> is the fact that you have to use gerunds after what, guys? Is it always gerunds after prepositions? Oh. So I want you to answer the questions with a verb, not with a noun. Okay, so we're going to say, what are you interested in? I want you to say, I'm interested in... Studying. Let me say I'm interested in. I'm interested in learning how to make um how to make money. <laughs> okay, that's a good word. Uh -huh. Okay, this is okay. You can say I'm interested in animals, and it's fine. But I want you to use a gerund to practice. Okay. Yeah, and then you say El Salvador is famous for a making something, for making pupusas, right? Making pupusas. Uh, I get angry with people about, about, you can, the negative form of the journey is like this, about not telling me, it's not don't, don't use don't, okay? About not telling me no. the truth. This is real about me. I get angry with people about not telling me the truth. Or you can get angry at people about about not paying your your money back, <laughs> <laughs> not paying you back. Okay, so I want you to discuss. Is that clear? And you're returning the 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 yeah. books that I you lend. Yeah, exactly. You can say that. I get angry at people about keeping my books. Keeping for my life. books. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. So yes. I want you to discuss examples, all right? You can first focus on making the right structure and then have a natural conversation, okay? Can you take a screenshot of this? Somebody, please. <clears throat> my pictures are awful. They're ugly. <laughs> when I take them from the computer. Okay, I don't see anybody sending it. So I'm gonna take a picture then. All right, discuss the questions. We're gonna go in small groups. Any questions? Oh. Nope, nope, okay. <laughs> All right. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go.
We will use the yeah. gerund uh, after the the preposition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Hi, Jamie. Hi. How are you? Hi. You? Well. Hi, thank you. Okay. We will try to to make a good sentence. Oh, okay, wow. the first one is, oh, 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 the first one is, what are you interested in? Well, I'm interested in, mm, in books about history. No, 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 no. But tell me an action. <laughs> Give me a verb. Yeah. 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 I'm interested in, <laughs> interested in reading in history books. In reading. Interesting. In reading or in reading. collecting or in oh, buying, any verb, buying. just to practice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Learning English. Yeah. In another English. language, too. <laughs> in another language, too. After English. <laughs> After English, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Yes. What Number are you interested in? Um, uh, yes, in my case. Uh, I are I am interested in practice more uh, the English language, right? And practicing, I think yeah. you you need to use ing. So I'm interested in practicing in practicing more. Practice. practicing exactly. uh, practicing more exactly more English, yeah. For English, okay. What about you, Veronica? Yeah, I'm interested in learning um, another skills. For example, um, skills to need to ma to be in the future a man. Uh -oh. You? What are you in instruction? Mm. Learning more about Excel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm I'm watching a lot of videos on YouTube about Excel. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, do you get excited about going on holiday? Do you get excited about? About mm -hmm. holiday? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting. How do you have to answer this question? Do you get excited about I'm ex I am excited about going on holiday. I'm excited about learning. I'm excited about Christmas, for example. Yes, but the thing is I need a verb. So I'm excited about shopping at Christmas, getting my bonus, my Christmas bonus. So I need a verb. It's okay, but we need that. I'm the field and Christmas. Uh, I'm excited about uh, taking my vacation. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to send two more people here, Carla. Okay. Uh, room three. So ask Laura. Alex, hello, Laura. Could you, could you guys turn your cameras on, please? Yes, please. I am the only one with my dinosaur. Yes. With my <laughs> you and your dinosaur are the only ones there. <laughs> yes. And Beatriz is going to join you. All right, okay. I'll be back. Okay. Number five. Yeah. What do you get angry with people about? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, um I get angry with the people. Excuse me, can you repeat the question, please? What is your country famous for? Uh, my country is famous for pupusas, for eating pupusas. 
yung make and pupusas too. Yes, they are delicious. Yeah. Um, uh, what school subjects were you interested in as a child? Uh, for me, Carla? Uh -huh. Can you repeat the question, please? What school subjects were you interested in as a child? Uh, when I was a child, I was interested I was interested, interesting uh, about interested in interesting about no, science. In the preposition, sorry. It, it, it's the same in Spanish. Interesado en no acerca. Interested in science. Science, uh -huh. but we're trying to practice gerunds right now with ing. So you could say I'm interested in, uh, when I was a child, I was interested in learning about science, in exploring, in studying science. Okay. So those would be the answers. Okay. I also mm -hmm. was interested in science, uh, mathematics. Um, still, I'm interested in when I was a child, I was interested in math, math. I don't like it. <laughs> you weren't interested in math. Yes. No, I, I wasn't interested in math. Now you like it? No, not yet. <laughs> Still not? Okay. Something like a mini what celebration. Did you say? Maybe if you if you turn off your camera because your camera. Yes. Internet is bad. The internet connection is bad. Okay. Okay. Talk, Carlos. Maybe. No, you sound like a robot. Yeah. <laughs> Another robot. Okay. Who is having problems with the internet, Carlos? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, connection is failing. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay, Carlos. What you can do is oh, you can no. you can send a message with your example, and Melissa or Veronica can read it. Send a message here on the chat; they can see it, so you can still participate. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. And I, I think we're gonna go back anyway. Did you finish the questions? No. <laughs> okay. One more question. What do you get angry with people about? Mm -hmm. About oh. the smoking next to me. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's terrible. I get angry with people about... Mm, with people about... I don't know, doing... Being irresponsible with... Uh, with the time, maybe with the schedule, and I you mean being on punctual? Being on punctual, mm -hmm. being on punctual yes. Okay. I one. get angry with people about being on punctual, right? Or, mm -hmm. or being sent or saying la, uh, lies. Oh, yes, that lies, saying lies. Uh huh, telling. Telling lies. Telling lies. Yes. Telling lies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, we're um, gonna go back now then. So. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that topic or the name of that topic is. 
prepositions. No, you know what the name of the topic is? It's adjectives plus prepositions. Okay, that's the name of that topic. Um, maybe, no, 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 we cannot watch a video. All right, we're gonna do something else now. I would like us to practice this as adjective as, to say that something is the same or pretty similar, okay? So we're gonna compare things that are similar, okay? We're gonna say, um, for instance, La Gran Vía en Metro Centro, okay? <laughs> we have to make La Gran Vía Metro Centro. What do they have in common, guys? There are too many people. <laughs> okay, find yeah. all things in common, okay, about the following things, places, whatever. A lot of people. Okay, but we have to say as uh, then an adjective. A lot of people as Metro Centro. As crowded as. Ajá, as crowded, okay. So we're going to say La Gran Vía is. Ula, ula. <laughs> as crowded mm. as Metro Centro. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can say something else. If you want to say what Gio said, La you Gran can also Vía say is... as many something as, or you can say as. Is, what is crowded? Is smaller, what is crowded? Smaller, uh, you know what crowded is? Is when you go on one of those buses, uh-huh, and you're like hanging, you say, oh, this, this bus is crowded. Okay. <laughs> metro centro is <laughs> topado. No, topados. How do you say topado? Let me see. Pool. Uh, no, pool. no. No, es que hay niveles, okay? Full is one. <laughs> <laughs> Crowded is Crowded another one. Is more more than 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 see, I full. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me see. Okay, full, crowded, and packed. Red. Packed. Red. So it goes like this. Full, crowded, Red. and finally crowded. that is packed. Este es rebalsando. Packed. Packed. Yep. Packed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I need you to use this structure. You can also say, oh. La Gran has as many customers. Stores. As a, aha, La Gran Vía. You can say any example, all right? But if you use, if you use as many here, you need a noun, not an adjective. Pay attention to that, all right? So here you need a noun. A countable noun. Yeah, and you still need that as again, so you need to Stores. close the burger, mm -hmm. all right? And as much here, you need a noun, but a non count. Uncountable noun. Okay. Buy in La Gran Vía is more expensive than Metro, Cent than Metro Centro. No, we're not going to compare. We're just going to find similarities right now. That's the activity. Okay. So we said as crowded as. As many people as, as many customers, and as much. No, we're not gonna use as much, just these. So I don't wanna get you confused. Okay, tell me more things. We're gonna compare those. Uh, we're gonna compare Pizza Hut versus, versus what? Domino. Papa John's. Okay, they have something in common. Papa John's. Okay, continue. Help me out with ideas, guys, because I'm burning out right now. Let me stick around, huh? <laughs> More ideas. Help okay. me out. Hey. Domino's and Pizza Hut. Let me see what else. We're going to say Soya Pango and, and, La Li and, and Lourdes. <laughs> what do they have in common? <laughs> you know where I'm heading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. They're so peaceful. <laughs> That's heaven yeah. right there. Okay, what else? Homies. Homies. <laughs> We're going to say it round. Homies. <laughs> very common. Very common routes are Route 44 and give me another bus route. A very common one. And 42. Ah, 30B uh, is really one. common. Really common. No, even if you have a car, guys, if you have a, it doesn't matter. You know this. <laughs> okay, what else? 
Um, then we have Boulevard, the one that goes to, how do you call this? Venezuela. Plaza How do you Heroes. call that one? Arena Venezuela. El Ejército. No, Boulevard not politics. Army. We cannot do that. Boulevard. <laughs> Boulevard. El Ejército. Ejército. Boulevard del Ejército. And another Boulevard one. Ejército. And? Próceres. Chorros. Próceres. Okay. No, no, los chorros, 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 chorros. Yeah, los chorros, right? Y que sal. Okay, two more things and we're going to be good. Come on, help me out. Two more. Hamburgers and chicken? No? Mm. They don't have things in common? It's saying in Monica Coca-Cola y Pepsi-Cola. Esen y Mónica, Mónica Herrera. I like Esen y Mónica Herrera. Esen. Coca-Cola and... Pepsi. And Pepsi. Pepsi. And, and hold on. U.S. No, I'm more common universities, guys. U.S. and... Oh, U.S. And technológica. Tecnológica. No. Hold on. En de UCA. Uh, U.S. en UCA. We're going to compare them. You have to find, even if they're different, wait... <laughs> <laughs> Even if they're different, you have to find something they have in common because they have something in common. That's the thing. They have something in common somehow. Okay, and we're going to compare English and math, finally, okay? So all of those things, I want you to discuss the similarities using as, adjective, as, okay? Don't forget the two as, otherwise we have a problem. Ready? Take yes. a screenshot. Okay, let's practice. Okay. We're gonna do it in small groups, so hold on. There it is, excellent invitation, please. Let's practice. Uh -oh. uh, are you gonna chair? No. Yes. Um. Who wants to start? Uh, I have one for Pizza Hut and Domino's. I uh -huh. think uh, Pizza Hut has mm, I don't know how to say it has many Pizza Hut. Use adjectives if you, if you want. Delicious, you can yes, is, delicious has no, is, is delicious. delicious is as, the, can you write it Carlos is, so she can is, see the, the example? You're going to use, it's yeah, right. the verb be, Melissa, so. Pizza Hut has, has, has delicious as. Has delicious as. Dominos. Has dominos. Mm -hmm. Yep, Pizza, that's right. Pizza Hut is, has delicious, has delicious. Has delicious as dominos, right. Has delicious, has dominos. No, uh, ha, as, 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 is, has, 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 Delicious has dominance. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't like I don't like pizza. I love pizza hat, but dominance I don't, is the last experience I, I have. I don't like pizza. I prefer <clears throat> chicken. Uh -huh. <clears throat> as adjective noun as. as and no, then, just the adjective. adjective. Well, to make it easy, it's better for you to practice just the adjective. It is as delicious as, it's as bad as, as, okay. or there is as this as, so yes, you can use the noun too. We use as, adjective, noun, and as. No. Correct. No, you cannot no. combine it, either or. Either adjective or noun. 
Ah, okay. So you can say as many noun as or as, as adjective as. Let me write it here. Many. As many. Those two we're going to practice. As adjective as. Mm -hmm. As many. How many? Ah, por eso. Okay. La gran B. Okay. If you say it, okay. <laughs> yes. We just. Alvi, do you like math or not? <laughs> I think not, right? Mm -hmm. It's not my my uh, best signature in, in my past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I like English and math. <laughs> no, es como que diga eh, de qué es mejor la la 44 que la que la 30 B. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Ajá. we're trying to find similarities only. Ajá. I don't see any of you guys. Uh, Carlos, because you have issues with the internet, right? I think. Alexander, let me see you. Boulevard del Ejército. As packed as uh -huh. los a chorros. Yes, it's yeah. as packed as los chorros, okay. What else? Uh, next one. Um, Boulevard del Ejército is as crowded as Los Churros. Mm -hmm. It's as crowded, right? Okay. Uh, Coca-Cola is as famous as Pepsi. Yes, very good. Good examples. And also Coca-Cola is as an unhealthy as in uh -huh. Pepsi. Yes, as unhealthy as Pepsi. Yeah. Very good. Um, UES is as exigent as uh, demanding. And Dan Uka or Isuka? Is as yeah. Uka. Uh -huh. As demanding as Uka. It's the same she's trying to say. Okay. So you finished all of them? Use English. Um... I think you guys finished the majority, didn't you? Okay, share yeah. some of them with me. What do you have about Soya Pango and Lourdes? Quickly. Soya Pango. Arby, Arby. The cure of Lourdes. As, Lourdes. Uh, <laughs> as many people as Lourdes. Not Lourdes. That works. Okay, what about US and Uka? What do they have in common? Pues has big is has big has uka. The what? Pues is has big has uka. Ah, it says, it says, you're saying has. It's, it's kind of is has. has. Uh -huh. Sorry. So pues is as big it's as uka. Has as uka. uka. Is that true? No. No, right? <laughs> Who is this right? Nice deal, right? <laughs> but <Like> no. <laughs> um, only for the exam. I worked that university. <laughs> and yeah. I know bigger. <laughs> it, yeah, it's huge. Who yeah. is this huge? Okay, yeah. maybe it's somebody said level. somebody said this. I heard this. Who is this as demanding? Demanding. demanding. I think that's true. That could be true. Yes. 
That is true. Command. <laughs> okay, so what about Soyapango and Lourdes, guys? You had another example. My dear Carlita says, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Soyapango is as dangerous as Lourdes. Aha, uh -huh, yes, that's the comparison I was expecting. All right, awesome. Good, good, good. Well, we're going to go back to the platform section 2.3. Okay, and is this the one for you? Hold on. Let me see. It sounds like no, this is intermediate. That's why I was going to teach you something else. <laughs> that happens sometimes. <laughs> so hold on. This is yours. Okay, here we are. Uh, how to compare with adjectives and nouns. Is this the one we watched? Yeah, this is the one we watched yes. last night, right? Yes. Are you sure? Because sometimes it looks like it is. Yes. Comparisons with verbs and past participles. Okay, this is the one we have to watch tonight. Notebooks out, please. Get ready to take notes. Here we go. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that you can say the following, a doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will we'll be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs and participles. And let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some common work-related verbs that we can think of? Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few so that we can outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so we think about verbs that have to do with work. We can think of um, earn, travel, or work, right? Uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we set that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use, we can say doctor earns. So we're going to put uh, we're going to put the bird there before uh, the more. Okay. Uh, similarly, we could express this in a different way. So let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence. We want to say a nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. Right. We're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now, this obviously, I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases, is, um, in some cases, a teacher may earn more. In certain, it depends. It also depends what kind of teacher. But a teacher earns as much as a police officer. You can say. So what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level, as you can see, right? Um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Uh, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? 
Um, I could have added here earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer, we're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express that idea by simply saying a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Right, so we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse and uh, literally we're saying the same thing. However, we use um, a slightly different structure there. Instead of the uh, verb in the uh, present tense, we use the uh, past participle of, in this case, the verb pay. Um, and if we want to make the comparison between the teacher and the police officer and we want to s express that they are kind of like on the same level as far as pay, then we can simply say um, a teacher is as well paid as a police officer. Okay. Um, but what the only difference is that now we're using past participles to make these comparisons. So the last challenge that I have for you in this particular lesson is to make the comparison between two jobs, any job. But uh, just to give you a quick example of what I want you to do, uh, we're going to make the comparison between a doctor and a nurse. And what I'd like for you to do is to use adjectives to compare the two jobs and also use nouns to compare them, uh, use verbs and past participles. So what could be an example of a doctor versus a nurse? Well, you can say pretty much anything, like I mentioned in previous classes. When we think about comparisons, these are all opinions. So we can say doctors, um, working as a doctor is more interesting than working as a nurse. A doctor has worse hours than a nurse. That's if I'm comparing the noun. A doctor earns more money than a nurse. And that's if I'm using a verbs. Uh, I could say um, doctor is better paid than a nurse. Um, and so what you want to do is use uh, what you learned in the previous lesson when we talked about comparisons with adjectives and nouns and what you are learning in this current lesson. Um, which is that you are making comparisons using verbs and also past participles. So do that uh, for um, this jobs that you see here. Once again, I'll be publishing this document so you can check it out and have easy. This is basically what we did last night, right? So yeah. we're not going to do that activity anymore, just the exercise. So let's go there. And you should be at this point, you should be on section 2.3 eight as of today all right let's see um how do we make the first comparison oh, this is so small all right number one veronica uh secret and yet i can see the option <laughs> uh, secret agents agent agents travels more than a policy office than a police officer Okay, number two, uh, Geo. An air traffic controller's job. Mm. Is less artistic than a TV director's job. Okay. Mm, yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. Okay. Number three, 
me exijo Javier. Jaime, sorry. That's why we're waiting three. forever. Number three. three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Landscape, landscapers have less education mm -hmm. than veterinarian. Veterinarians. Veterinarians, like that. The, the stress goes here, veterinarians, like that. Okay, number four, Laura. She's not here. Laura. Okay, Marvin. Working as a comedian is harder than yeah. being Working as a, a public speaker. Yes, that's right. And Marvin, number five. Yeah. Um, Aerobics and structures. In the beginning, I don't know. I, uh, uh, aerobic instruction uh, are less than a soccer coach. Let's see that. Ooh. Other than being, oh, no. oh. Ah, is harder than being a public speaker. That's the one. We skipped the verb. <clears throat> that was the thing. Okay, are you completing this with me? Or are you doing that on the weekends? How are you going about this? I'm with you. With uh, me, all right, do three. it with me. Let me see number three, Bad. landscapers. Have less education than. Have less education than. Than. Veterinarian. So right. That is the right answer. Very good. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> so this we'll do tomorrow. Um, good. Now, I would like you to discuss some questions because I know you're tired. We're going to compare some things, not necessarily using the structures, but if you can do it, all right? Okay, let's go in groups. We're gonna get speaking for 10 minutes. Accept the invitation, please. I uh, was talking about um, which is harder, math or English. Okay. Laura, how do you think? Healthy. Drink beer. Sometimes it is healthy if you don't. Yes. Okay. okay. Which is worse for your health, smoking or drink? Me both. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Smoking, uh -huh. smoking, drinking. It's just smoking. smoking. Yeah. Smoking and drinking are dangerous. So I think it's the same. Okay. Which is harder? Smoking is hard. Is worse. Which is harder, math or English? It's um, less dangerous. Yeah. But if you drink drink a lot of beer or alcohol yeah is 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 dangerous too which is harder math I don't like numbers so i don't like math yeah like my math is not a problem <laughs> with me in english okay i like both okay i agree with you uh, you will, uh, will. Not that. Uh, it is well, better to reach know. and dumb. Mm -hmm. What? What? Yes. What about you, Jaime? 
<laughs> to do okay. money. Okay. Go, yeah. go on, go on. Yeah. Okay, Laura, next. Um, is it better to... Uh, I, I, I am to kind me... of lazy, let me English. <laughs> to me, uh, English are more harder than math. But, but math is um, uh, ex uh, exactly science, I don't know. And then it's harder for me. Okay, that's true. It's true. Number three, it is better to be a rich or poor and beautiful or handsome. Those kind of questions. <laughs> I wish to be rich and, and smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good combination, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poor no. and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, I think it, it's better to be poor and beautiful. Okay, good. <laughs> and does technology make the world better or what? Or worse? Mm -hmm. um, it's the best. What do you think, Alexander? Think. In general, uh, the riches is smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, true. Yes. This is true. And it, it is better to be a rich and ugly or poor and beautiful mm -hmm. or handsome. It is very <laughs> handsome, right? Yeah. It's a uh, work hard. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You just have to learn to use it. Oh, uh huh. You just have to learn to use it. Carla, mm. how, how old are you? I'm 32. Why? You and look you? like a child. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you look like a child. Oh. I thought that you were like 16 or 15 or something like that. No. <laughs> yes, it's true. And Which swing is more entertaining? Tetris or Angry Birds? <laughs> yeah. Really? I don't have any I don't have any idea about those games. Angry Birds, I remember because my my son and my daughter uh, watched that uh, film. The film. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not but about this. Angry Birds I, I have, are entertaining. <laughs> because okay. Tetris, you remember Tetris was only the food the the pies, the pies is in order or with, uh, okay. with the the lions when so angry bears is better than than Tetris. It's more entertainment than yes. Tetris. Yeah, it's true. It's more entertaining. Okay. Angry bears than Tetris. Okay. Mm, are you more cre creative? Now or when you were in elementary school? <laughs> I, I don't. The game is more inter, 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 entertaining. Entertaining. Tetris or Hungry Bird? Why? Okay. <laughs> okay. I only know okay. Tetris. Oh, yeah, in my case. Oh, good. Uh, entertaining them angry birds all the school yeah, really? <laughs> it's, the, it's the reason because I, I work with numbers <laughs> because it's not I'm not really creative I do have, I, I do have yeah, the, the Xbox I do have the Xbox and Nintendo 64 um, let me see uh, the Switch Nintendo Switch but I want the PS5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, teacher, 
we did finish. Yep, I was about to close all rooms. Let's go. Okay. ¿Qué ha pasado? <coughs> hey, Argentina. Hey. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, the last question is, what is what is the last question, guys? What does it say? Exactly. You prefer to be rich and... No. Is it better to study no. English? The last question is, is it better to study online. English in class or online? In the classroom or online? What do you think, guys? Be honest. In the classroom. Online classes. No, for me it's very online because I don't have to, to travel to another Melissa. place. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. No, no, it's better uh, in online because you don't travel, but I prefer on classroom because you have more time to have conversations with other people and socialize and kind of yes things. definitely yeah yes. socialize and sometimes no, but, we have uh, a problem talk with in the english internet. yeah uh, talk to the internet. in english practice Beatrice? i agree with melissa in my case yeah. i like to be near to people in uh -huh. front people mm -hmm. face to face geo yeah uh, i like online be, because of the time but I, I think uh, the class is better for uh, interpersonal relations. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yes, that's yeah. true. And um, what was I going to say? Well, imagine having in classroom classes at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. That doesn't happen. It doesn't exist. <laughs> so yeah. it's the only advantage. But yeah. Awesome. Okay, I have to go. In the math. Yes, it's um, the because online school, uh, is better for the time because um, you have to there's more time. flexibility and you can yeah. be in any country. <laughs> yeah. Any mm -hmm. country, yes. Anywhere and you can like you class. Yeah, that's the advantage. I have to go guys. Thank you. I hope to see everyone Thanks. tomorrow. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.